In this lesson, uh, I'm going to show you a, a cool aluminum beam construction set called Make Block, which I'm going to use to build a simple rolling robot that uses an Arduino, a motor shield, and a battery pack to control two motors. So I wanted to talk about about Make Block briefly. Um, it is this cool aluminum building set, and you can make robots out of it. It has these plates. It has um, has big tank treads. These are really awesome tank treads, um, and you know they fit around the the wheels, or else there's like tires that fit on the wheels too. And uh, we're going to use this stuff to make a lovely rolling robot that um, can be uh, controlled with an Arduino. So I built the robot. Um, let's take a look at the underside first. You got the two motors here and they control both the steering as well as the propulsion of the robot. So if I want to turn one way, um, one wheel goes one way and the other wheel goes the other way and it kind of spins around. And facilitating that on the back is just a caster. It doesn't need more than two motor motorized wheels. All right, and then the top, um, there is a Arduino and motor shield right here. And a battery pack just for the motors. And then there's also this 9-volt uh, battery pack for the Arduino. However, I um, don't have a way of attaching it to the robot right now. Maybe some kind of uh, zip tie or something. So this is kind of like the, the very beginnings of a robot. You know, it doesn't do anything except roll, right? And it hasn't even been programmed yet, so it doesn't even do that. But um, we could add sensors on it. So like if it's traveling around, around along and detects an obstruction, it could uh, you know move away and try again or something. Or maybe um, it could be controlled uh, like with a, a wireless connection or uh, infrared signal, we could put an infrared sensor on there and use a remote control to control its direction. One final thought on what we could do with this robot. Uh, this is a very crude thing, but I um, put a cl I clamped this this sharpie onto the the chassis with the thought being, you know, maybe we could program the robot to draw a picture on a big sheet of paper just by rolling around with this sharpie trailing behind it. Uh, it's a thing called an art bot or draw bot and uh, I don't know it's just for fun. Okay let's program it. Okay let's write the code for the robot. The first thing we should do is add the library. Let's see. Import library and we're going to add the AF motor library. So all that really does is add the, the correct code, but you can certainly type that in by hand. Okay, now we're going to initialize the two motors, AF underscore DC motor. And the name of the motor is motor right, and it's in motor port 2 on the shield. Now let's do the same for motor left on in port 3. So basically we're telling the shield that there are two DC motors. One is called motor right and it is in port 2 and the other one is called motor left and is in port 3. All right. So let's do the setup. Okay, so um, we're going to uh, uh, basically ch uh, power up these engines, these motors. Um, all we're doing is was is sending a, a signal through, um, but we're not actually making them go anywhere. So motor left. Set speed 20. Um, and then motor left. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Motor left 
run release. And we'll do the same for the right. So that should be speed, not steep. All right. Now we're going to use this um, this variable i, and that is for purposes of um, having the motors pulse a little bit rather than um, rather than going at a set speed. They're going to kind of speed up to their full intended speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to have um, the the just because I have limited space to show this off, I'm going to have the robot going forward and then backwards and then repeating. So we're going to basically have four toll commands for the motors, right? Two going forward, one for the left and one for the right, and then two going backwards for the left and the right. And we're going to do that in the loop. Oh, we have to do the closing bracket for the setup too. <clears throat> Although that actually goes up here. All right. Um, so motor left, run forward. And then this is the part where it speeds it up. So basically what that's saying is it's going to start off at zero and if, as long as it's under 255 it's going to um, it's going to uh, keep increasing its speed. Okay now we're going to actually do the movement. Motor left set speed I that's the current value the speed value which is ever increasing here um, and and so we, we've set the speed and we've chosen the direction with forward here the third part of this is the delay which tells it how long to run let's just do it for three right now but you could have it go for 10 minutes if you wanted to it's the delay determines how long the motor runs basically okay so we have, uh, we can close that up. Um, we have one of the motors programmed here. It's going to go forward. It's going to, it's going to speed up. Uh, and then it's, but it's only going to go for, th um, just a, f uh, a fraction of a second. <clears throat> so let's do the, the right one. All right, now let's make them go backwards. All right, and then we just have the last bracket of the loop. All right, with any luck, we'll be able to just plug this in and have it work. Oh, very quickly, um, I did run into a couple of problems. Um, there shouldn't be a space after motor left here, um, and there was supposed to be a period um, here before run, uh, and also void was spelled wrong. So um, I uploaded it, and it's good to go. Well, it's working. Um, as promised, it's... Uh, It's kind of moving back and forth, but uh, for reasons that I'm not completely sure about, it does seem to want to go in one direction more than another. But this gives you a starting point for building your own robot. You know, you, Now you know how to control left and right motors on a simple two-wheeled robot. 
using the Adafruit Motor Shield and you're ready to get started on your own. That's it for lesson number three. In lesson four, we're going to make a simple noise maker out of an Arduino, a light sensor, a couple of potentiometers, and a speaker. Thanks for watching.